up everyone this is Draco Evolve it is Manchester United 3 Partizan Neil this is my match review and it was, let me just get my chair forward it was a good day today it was a very good day you know this is the uh, lineup so I'll go through the lineup I'll go through uh, you know my, um, my man of the match and I'll, I'll go through each player and how they did how I thought they did well uh, or good so I predicted it's gonna be 2-1 it ended up being 3-0 um, this was the lineup, and we played some sort of 4 2 3 1. You can see, um, however, initially seeing that lineup, it immediately infuriated me to be honest. I was a bit upset that there was no Ghana, uh, no Chong, no Williams. Uh, it seemed like Rash uh, Oli went for sort of like a, a, a mixture of fringe players with, with his first team starters, uh, minus Greenwood, right. Because you look at Rojo, he's not a youngster, is he? You look at Young, he's not a youngster, is he? Romero is a backup keeper, obviously, we all know that. And Mata, again, he's a rotation player, he's not a youngster, is he? So, you know, Europa League is supposed to be a, a, a platform where you can build uh, your squad in terms of the youth experience. And I was kind of upset, and I'm sure a lot of people was in the same boat as well. Um, at least Greenwood got the start. I, I would have, you know, wanted uh, Brandon Williams to get the start. It seemed like Oli was saving him for the uh, match on, on the weekend. Um, obviously, it could have backfired. If he did backfire, then Oli would have been under so much pressure. But we have won 3-0. And before we get into the lineup and ha how each player's I felt performed, I'll have a look at the stats. So stats-wise... 3-0, uh, Mason Greenwood got the goal with Martial and Rashford getting the other two. Um, as you can see, we had 63% of the possession. We had 14 shots, total shots. I believe 10 came in the first half. And uh, generally, we've been we've been good, you know, attacking play, defending. We, we basically gave it, giving them no chance at all. Um, they, they, they were just dejected. And it, it was good to see. It was extremely good to see. Um, because we don't get to see that at Old Trafford, you know, this season at least, you know, many times where... We are so one dominant. We are so assured at the back. There was no silly mistakes. There was loads of one touch passes up front. There was loads of quick movement up front, and there was cutting edge. And it was it was fantastic to see. And credit where credit is due, we have been great. Yes, partisans probably not the best of opponents, but it was nice to see on the pitch that movement, the passing, the one touch passing up front. It was nice to see, regardless of um, of the opponent. But anyway, let's let's go through the lineup. Romero. Didn't have anything to do. Didn't even get his gloves wet. So let's forget about him. I think Juan Bissaka. Um, let me just think. Uh, Juan Bissaka again had a solid game. Um, th there seems to be a few things I've noticed today um, where he's going forward a lot more. I mean, he's known to be a very defensive-minded right back, right? And probably offensively is not the best. But today I've seen him go make make those forward runs several times and get crosses in. So well done. Um, Maguire was a bit of suspect today. He, he gave away a few balls, um, uh, you know, caught out, caught out of position a couple of times. There was one time, I believe, in the first half he got caught out and, um, you know, Partizan's player went through. Uh, I can't remember his striker's name. Uh, Sadiq went through and, you know, thankfully he was, he was offside, I believe. But he was caught. He was caught. Rojo had a solid game. He was no-nonsense performance. Uh, I think there's one point where he ran, like, 20 yards towards the uh, uh, their right wing and it just put in a crunching tackle and you know um, but he looks solid today to be fair you know fair play to him he looks solid today young we give him a lot of stick yes but today he had a very very good game one or two times he gave away the ball but going forward he was fantastic um, I believe he created a goal as well uh, for Rashford on, on the third goal so assist for young and defensively he looks assured and solid uh, but you know kudos to him he had a very good performance that day McTominay and Fred. Now, <clears throat> Fred had a very good game. I think he, he moved box to box very well. He had a lot of energy and it, it's time to show that he's coming to the team. Let's hope he keeps his up. Um, he tried a few sort of Pogba style passes with 30, 40 yards. It didn't work out for him. Um, but he's not generally, I don't see him as a creative player. Um, but it is what it is. So he had, he had a decent game. McTominay went off injured, which was a bit of a concern. And again, we come back to all his lineup. Why did he have to play uh, McTominay, uh, where he played like God knows how many games? Uh, potentially now, if he plays against Brighton, he would have played three games in the space of a week, seven days, I believe. It's a lot. Of, so why don't we use someone like Ghana uh, or, or any of the youth players? You know, it would have been nice to see a youth player. But he went off injured um, on the 75th minute. Hopefully, it is nothing serious. But he had a had an average game. I don't think he, he had to do you know do much to be honest. 
Um, Mata had a very good game in my opinion. I think you can clearly see that he's he's aging. He, he gets tussled out of the ball quite a lot of times. But in terms of his movement up front, uh, this front four movement, the passing, the one touch movement was fantastic. Rashford missed a few chances uh, in the first half, a couple of ch glaring chances where he should have scored. Um, and Greenwood, who's got the first goal, and it was a fantastic goal. I think he came into the right on his right leg, then switched over to his left leg and sort of like um, tricked the keeper on aiming the ball to the far end of the corner, but he went on the near post and scored, got us rolling. Um, generally had a good game. I'm glad that he had a pretty much a full run out, so which was nice to see. Martial's second goal was sublime. It was, it was the, the close control, the dribbling, the, the, the movement. It was instinct, you know, he didn't, he didn't have to really look up. He just knew where the defenders were. I think he beat a couple of players and just slotted it in. And Rashford, to be honest, he should have scored a few times. But I'm glad he got the goal eventually uh, from Young. It was a fantastic play. I think it was switched from right back into Young, who played one touch into um, uh, Marcus Rashford, who smashed at home in the second half. But these are sort of like my performance rating. I think if I have to give a man the match, I will, I will definitely... It's hard today. I mean, there's a few players that were standard performers. But I'll give it to Martial. He was a constant threat in my opinion. The goal was fabulous. But his movement off the ball, his one-touch passes, he, 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 he looks sharp. And, and the goal was the icing on the cake. For me, Martial was my man of the match. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think your man of the match was? Um... Obviously, um, Scott McTominay went off. Injured Fred went off. Rashford went off. You had Jesse Linga come in, who didn't do anything. Andres Pereira came in, didn't do anything. I was glad to see James Garner come in, and I was glad to see Daniel James given a rest, thank God. Um, I would have liked to have seen Brandon Williams come in for 15, 20 minutes, but I guess he's going to play uh, the full match in, in over the weekend. Uh, but that's it, guys. This is my match uh, review of Manchester United versus Partizan, which ended up in 3-0. Um, I would like to see going forward more of that, more of, of, of the, uh, you know, all they talked about getting an early goal or being on the front foot. He did not lie there. He definitely did that. And it was lovely to see that. I just hope that we take that in that form into the premiership where we kind of let go of ourselves a little bit. Just go forward, play one touch passes. You can see today when we played that one touch passes and the fast movement up front, they were not able to live with us, right? So why don't we do that in the Premiership? Just play one-touch passes and I guarantee you we have enough fire, firepower and enough talent in Rashford, Martial and uh, Daniel Jeffs to, to break through um, the, you know, any sort of defence with their pace and get behind. And um, it, there was an interesting stat, to be honest, um, where the commentator was saying that we haven't considered yet in the Europa League. Uh, which which was just fantastic, you know. The, we're the only team I think we have. We're the only team, not I think. We're the only team that hasn't completed a, a um, well conceded a goal in the Europa League. So let's just go back, go down to the group table if I can find that. We're in Group L, um, L for loss, losers, you know. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, so you can see after uh, after four games, Alkmaar is obviously uh, ahead in ten goals. Um, Sorry, we haven't considered a goal in at home yet. Sorry, we have considered goal overall. But you can see our goal ratio is good. We got 13 goals. Um, it was pretty much through. I don't see us kind of losing that position. I just hope that we, we, we end up winning the groups just to avoid any dropouts from the Champions League. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll catch you guys, as always, in the next upload. Take care and stay farafari.